Well, good morning, guys, and welcome to another edition of Cod Bites Fishing Adventures. Uh, back at the macro, far end this time. Um, been here a couple of, well, about an hour and a half or so. Third cast out. Um, decided not to film yet because I'll just clear this lens a bit more. It looks a bit, a bit dirty. It's still a lot of fog, wind and fog. Well, not wind, but that sticky fog that wet soaks you. Both rods out, uh, massive baits, car, black lug, and squid. Both on panels, big up bottoms. Um, I think a cod's just come out uh, about 90 metres to the left of me. Um, so there's fish here. So I'm going to leave you on the rods for a little bit. It's Sunday morning, by the way. Uh, I'll leave you on the rods for a bit and uh, we'll see how we get on. I'll be back. First one of the day. Little pin white in. About 25 centimetres or so. A little fella back in. Number one for the day, guys. Um, just start biting now because the an hour up before up you seem to get a lot of bite. We've put a nice fresh bait on this one. The cod might be about now. Definitely fresh bait time now. If they're on, get them while they are. I'll I'm trying to avoid whiting at all costs. <laughs> I don't mind them because I saved the blank, but you get enough of them, don't you? <laughs> Richmond sausages I'm putting on at the moment. What's right? Richmond sausages are going on now. Get the good stuff out. What Richmond sausages? Well, that's what they look like, the size of these. What are they sticks you mean? Yeah. Nice. I've got uh, squid and black cocktails on. Nice big ones. Right, let's get into them cod guys because we know they're there. Massive bit, massive fish, hopefully. At least the weeds dropped off. I just said that to him there. <laughs> Do you reckon a little bit longer before we put a big cast out of the water? Uh, I'll just try one out about 45, so I'm just going to see if this holds. Obviously if it doesn't I'll pull it back in, but might be a bit early yet. Can I put them over like 
No, I won't go that far yet. I'd probably stick to about 35, 40 for now. Just take a little break there, guys. We'll be back if there's any more action. Just had a cracking bite. I'm just wiping the lens. Just had a cracking bite. It's only been out there 20 seconds. Uh, the end rod. I can get a better view for you because it's a lot of that misty, misty stuff about. It's really difficult to uh, to keep the lens clean. I'll keep on that rod because it's had a really nice bite on it. Lovely fresh. actually 12 anglers down here now guys 12 so it's uh it's pretty full got to pram bike time now both rods going got both rods going at the same time guys which one do I pull in first I don't know which rod to pull in first guys, I've got a bite on board. Come on, next one that goes I'll pull. I think it's a little coddling guys, let me have a look. A little pin whiting. Oh no, I'm sorry, it's a cod. A coddling. A little coddling. <laughs> it's a tiny one, that one. It's a little tiny coddling. It's a diddler. It's getting back. First cod. <laughs> wow, little coddling.
size of that. Beautiful. Cracking bait, nearly bent the rod in half. Beautiful fish. That's what you call a proper cod, guys. <laughs> Lovely. Let's hope I can get six more. Let's take a little break, guys, while I saw this huge. I'm really out of breath because I've only just set up. And uh, I'm absolutely shafted now. Because it's a real steep beach, and I was fine with it for ages. But what a fish, look at that. Beautiful. It's a good 65 centimetres, easy. Be back in a while, guys. Your brother's up there at the beach somewhere, he's just shouting he's got a slack line or so, he might have one. I've got a bite on the first rug, guys. You've got to be quick because there's some big fish about. Put your brother's in, he's got a right bender on his rod. See if I can get you on it, guys. He's got a. I can't run so far because uh, I might get one on my own because I saw I've just got a bite on this fair for It must be full of them around here, guys, because the amount of bites is ridiculous. But judging by the bending, he's right, it might be the bigger than one I've just got. Could have bend on that, the wobble. It'll take you some week, guys, and watch it come in. No man, look, I'll get a big enough man that pull me rods over. There we go, another cod. Looks like it. Oh, yeah, nice one, that guys. Another cod. Oh, look. Yeah, another cod, look. The cod all over has come off that one, gang, but we'll get it. Nice one, man. I'll get you on camera. There you go guys, Andy's just got a lovely cod to go on I've just got. Fantastic, look at this. They're coming in lads. And I've just lost the rock, I'm going to get back to my rod guys. I've just had a bite on that first one and they might pull me rod over. Just shows you there's a lot of cod on this beach guys. Big baits are killing it today. Oh I'm in Andy. End rod. End rod, guys. Look at it go. I'm even laughing at this rate, guys. So down to the beach, I've been going in that. Might be on that one, guys. in a washing line guys it's the third one caught in a washing line yeah it's only about a pound this one guys give me a cracking bite though only about a pound. We saw the bite. The little cod. Little beard look. We'll put him back. It's gonna be a busy day guys. Three cod in about 
10 minutes here. Waiting. Uh, I didn't get it on camera because I should run to the road pretty quickly, but uh, it's just a waiting. Decent size one though. It's getting back. Decent size one though, Anne. It's way bigger now. I mean, again, look. I'm gonna have to go up and let in, guys. Just as I got my coffee again, it's off. This time I think it's good. Nah. Yeah. There you go, guys. Cod number four. It's a waiting and four cod up to now. Probably a little under. There. there you go. He's going back. It's only about a pound of a bit. The cracking bite, though, as you saw, he's going back. Cod number four. Guys, just just a waiting. Just get that one back, guys. I've got a fight on the other road. Turn this camera off now, for guys. It's bloody blowing all over. I'll be back in a minute. I've got a bite on the other road. Absolutely massive. Size of that. Five or six pound of that. Absolutely huge. Coming in like those tomorrow. Try and get a picture of this guy for the thingy. We'll take a little break there, guys, while I sort these rods out. I need to get him back out because there's bloody bites all over. It's a massive fish. Look at that one. Beautiful fish. White in this town. It's a nice size, though, massive. Bit of a letdown from the other one. But I'm just going to get uh, pictures of fish now, guys, as I'm pulling them off because I'm running out of battery. Um, God knows how much footage I've got. But I mean, that's it's still a massive fish for a white in that. I thought it was an adequate first, so it's not. Uh, 
stonkers of fish. I'm going to put this one back, guys. Forget any more. I mean, you can't back. see a lot. I'll just hold them on. I'll put my light on. I just forgot to put my light on. But we're here. We're at Macro. Uh, it's about half past eight. So it's definitely like that. What? Yeah. Yeah. We're... Right, guys, we're here at Macro. About half past eight. It's absolutely dead flat. There's a tiny bit of wind, probably two mile an hour. It's just started to sheet it down, but it's uh, seems to have gone again now. Uh, I'm hoping for a cod because there's been a lot coming out. Whether I get one or not is another matter, but I worry you anyway, aren't we? No wonder it's a big pull. Right. Seven metre turn. Well, I thought it was a big turn. That explains the pull. Yeah, it'd be, it'd, be, it'd be slow going back out. Yeah, if it had if been, um, it'd be it slow would, going be, out. that'll rip through at seven metres, that. Yeah, it'd be slow going back out. Faster coming in. Yeah, I've got a bait there, look. End rod. It's uh, got some right good pulls on it. Got a bait, guys, end rod, as I said. Uh, I think there's a fish on it, because it's had a quite a few tugs. Oh, yeah, flatty. It looked like it was on to me. You see it? Yeah. It's on that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That is definitely on that. If it is, it'll only be small. Though, yeah, it's small, but it's on. I yeah, bother it'll save the blank. If it goes again, I'll have it. Give me some right good pulls. Luckily the camera's on it, I'll have it nice and clear. Could be the tarp, yeah. No, it was definitely bike. <coughs> there you go. It's gonna be a right good pull I'm having that. I got it. No. Ooh, I don't know. Really heavy this. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, it is, isn't it? A cod. Can you feel it? Oh yes. Can you feel it? It's heavy this. Could be a big one this guys. That one's moving now, I don't know. Kev, look at that yeah. one. You're going for that one. Move it over. Oh, what's happened? Oh it is coming. Oh it is a cousin Kev. Oh, nice cod, guys, this. Yeah. Lovely cod, it's about three or four pound, that. See it. Well done, that. Those are on. Oh, it's a beauty, that, isn't it? Yeah. So how do you give me some good bites? <laughs> Go up. Nice and that, Kev. Got one, guys. Beautiful cod, that. Right. Tell the Ed. Just get the pliers out of my box. Yeah, tell the Ed and I come at you. Yes. Oh, I'll reach my It's about three and a half pounds, four pound, isn't it? Yeah. Three and a half to four pound, that. He's biting me, so. He's <laughs> bloody well built. Right, guys, I'll show you this fish. I told you it was a good bite. Yeah, I watched it a few times. I told you to come here, didn't I? Right, guys. Here we go. Look at that beauty. It's a good four pound at least. I'm going to wait in a minute, but. A beautiful fish that. Look at that big boy. Go on, take my phone. Hold that minute and I'll get a, get a picture it's, of uh, it. Favourite venue strikes again, eh? Lovely fish though, that guys. I'll definitely eat that tomorrow. That's my, my Monday's dinner sorted out. My anniversary today as well, so. Yeah, I'll call that an anniversary cod. <laughs> Absolutely cracker. But uh, yeah, the uh, the best venue strikes again. I love this venue. It's me and our kids' favourite venue. And uh, hopefully, it's not even our time for nearly another hour. So hopefully, we're going to get some more guys. I'm going to put you back on the rods for now. Because uh, I don't need to miss any action, if there is any. The only problem is I've got one battery, so I don't want to waste it. If we're going to start getting a lot of fish. That's the problem. So I don't want to waste it. So it's not far off, like. I think I've got another fish on this uh, end rug, guys. It's, but I think it's a, definitely a flatty this time. I might have to pull it in and recast that because uh, it certainly looks like it's a fish. 
So I'm gonna have a look at it because it's been it's been bouncing a few times and I've just got a feeling there's a fish on it. <coughs> it does feel like there's a fish on it but I couldn't swear on it. Down a bit now to, uh, make them on a bit like a, one out to, uh, get out on it. Feels like there's a flatty on it, whether there is or not, I don't know. Come on, mate, flatty. Yeah, I said it felt like a flatty. Fish number two, guys, I said it felt like a flatty. Yeah, yeah. Not a bad size flatty either, that. Fish number two, guys, it's a flounder. Flatty guys, send me later. The flatty, got it through the gill so it should be okay. I'll get it back guys. It's hard to wait up so I haven't got far to go down there. Yeah. You'll be back guys because the rod nearest to us has got again. rod nearest to us has got a fish on it. I'll let it go once more and then I know it's on. I don't want to pull him for no reason guys, but I've definitely got a fish on that. It's probably a flatty. If it is, it's very small. There's definitely uh, quite a few. I don't know, it's gone tight now. I think it's a flatty. Some planned out. Yeah, it's a bit tighter now. There'll be enough fish number three, this guys. Very small if it's a flatty though. There's some on it. Can't get yeah, very right. small. Just a little flounder, guys. It's very small. It's fish number three for the camera. That's what we want to see. It's coming in. Well, these are on the panel, guys. Guys, so it's fishing well with panels. Trying to get this uh, rod to stay up. Right, let's have a look. Oh, that was a beautiful catch, that, look at that. Lip hooks, bang on, in the lip. You won't get an easier flatty than that. It's only a little one, I'll put it back, it's a little flounder. I'll show you on camera though, guys, there you go. Little flounder. Beautiful little fish. Right, let's have him back, that's number three. Be back. So I nearly lost my rod. I'm serious, I nearly lost my rod. I've just got... Nine pound, eight ounce cod. I'm gonna have to use some light for this. This is absolutely massive. I couldn't get to the camera because my rod nearly went in. Look at the size of that. Just weighed it guys, nine pound, eight ounce. Look at that. 68 Well, good afternoon. We're at Wivensey South. Beautiful conditions. I haven't been out for a while, so I'm glad to get back out. Look at them, beautiful conditions. That's a bite though. 
Ah, 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 guys fluffy sort of bite beautiful bite that beautiful looking fish nice and clean i don't want to drop it because it's nice looking but look it's a beautiful fish first one of the afternoon what a bite i was on the tour flapper on straight look so we're in that's number one let's hope there's a few more There, the bite was beautiful. Let's well, just move your base camp and got settled down. And look what I just pulled in a beautiful Dover sole. Lovely sass sole, that beautiful. Give me a cracking bite. Took it on the panel. Uh, sorry, the Paternoster. Beautiful fish. Let me carry on up. It's a lovely lip up fish though, it's not a swallow the hook or anything. Really powerful these. Beautiful fish, look at that. Oh. <laughs> I promise last time I caught one of these. Look at that, beautiful sass, Dover Soul. It's a good 30, 32, 33 centimetre that, beautiful. Now I've never tried one of these and it's well, well in this so I might have a try of Wow, I went to clean it guys, nearly lost it. It wriggled on my hand because they're real powerful. Not only that, they like a bar of soap. But beautiful fish, fantastic. 
Right, let's take a little break. Well, I'll sort you out. Good evening, or afternoon, or evening, or whatever you want to call it. What a beautiful day. Uh, turned up at the beach, uh, Sunday, <coughs> a Sunday evening. Uh, there's only a couple of anglers on it, I'm, I'm shocked. Beautiful day, still in the one in the 60s. Uh, there's no breeze, well there is, but it's like one mile an hour, I won't even call it a breeze. Uh, sea conditions. Look at that. Just been talking to a fella who's just come off the beach and he caught a decent smooth hound just a few hours ago on here. So the rear. Uh, I'm at Ornsey North, as you can see. Tad's well out. There's loads of there's loads of blowholes for uh, for lug if I'd have brought the uh, the pump. Bloody loads of them, man. Could have had a field there. Um, I've been with my brother Andy, he's over there, look. We've only been here about five minutes or so, well, ten minutes, I've got my rods out. I'm running, Sam, my rod went mad. I've just got a turbot. Try and get you on camera. Look at that lovely turbot, I'm just trying to get it off the hook, because it swallowed the bloody thing. That's it's not that bad. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm going to be pliers out of there. That lovely turbot guys, it's all muck at the moment, but beautiful. First turbot I've ever caught. And that was only, that was the first cast on that rod. And that was on bluey and squid. You ever caught a turbot on? guys I'm gonna to have to take it home it was got hooked uh, took a bit to get it out but it's a lovely fish look beautiful turbot beautiful first time I've ever caught one so I'm well chuffed that's one of my uh, off my bucket list I'm gonna definitely take it home I've never eaten one anyway but it was got hooked and it's uh, I'm gonna put it over its misery obviously so I'm well chuffed guys, well chuffed, that was on the panel on Bluey and Squid cocktail. So I'm going to taste my first tear but uh, normally I wouldn't take that home because I love them type of fish and I wouldn't take them home but so I've never tried one, it's a decent size um, and it's cut up so I'm not putting it back because it, it'll die. So I'll take a little break for now while I get this uh, this one rebaited up and cast out and sort my rig out and then I'll be back. I'm back fellas. Good news that turbot, I held it in the water for a little bit and it revived, it's gone. So I'll let it go. Fantastic. Right, I'm just going to cast back out. I'll just show you this bait what I'm using, what I caught the turbot on because it's a cracker of a bait. It's uh, basically... It's 
squid and bluey on a panel, obviously, meter long, and it did the job. So I'm just going to cast it out. And I'm knocking this out quite a distance. I'm not playing around to be clear. It's all the way. I shouldn't be singing away really, should I? I might have to edit that bit out now. Copyright and all that lot. But I'm going to take a little break now. And uh, I'll, pull, I'll uh, put you back on before I pull these in. Another five or ten minutes and I'll pull them in. Uh, and we'll see if there's out on them. Because both of them had a bite. Right fellas, I'm going to pull that penalty far rod and uh, put some black glove on it. See if there's out on it. We did have a few pull downs on it, as I said. And uh, it was bouncing a little bit, so... You know, the could be a fish on there, but I doubt it. Gonna believe it. It's another tear, but I'm gonna have to try and get it off the hook in a minute because it's uh, well and truly up. But look, tear, but number two, beautiful fish. I can't believe it. I've never caught a tear, but and all of a sudden I've got two fish and they're both tear, but how good's that? Fabulous, brilliant. So I'll cut you off for now while I sort this tear, but out. And then uh, we'll be back and I'll show you well, properly. Good evening, we're back out again. It's uh, Sunday, it's uh, Daiwa day. All the lads have got home after finishing the Daiwa. Whether uh, they've got any good fish or not, I don't know. But uh, I've turned up at Macro, uh, hoping for some big fish, whatever they've left me. Um, out with old kid Andy and uh, Danny, trying to still wreck his blanket. He's on nine blanks now. So he's after, he's after his, uh, he's on his... <laughs> He's on his 10th session <laughs> and hopefully <laughs> he's going to get a double figure cod to match his double figure blank. Nah, he should do all right tonight, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, it's only a yeah, six, three, three metre tad, I do believe. It's whether there's any wind or not, that's the thing you've got to worry about. Um, but I, I'll just cast the rods out. We're on uh, 
I'm on three up part and Osters at the moment. And um, I'm on old blacks, but I've just got some new blacks, but I'm on old at the moment. And I'm just going to use the old ones first, see if we get anywhere. Got both rods out, the old trusty steeds, I'll get you on them. And uh, I'll leave you on them for a while, just to see what's going on. Um, hopefully you can see them. And uh, we might be lucky and get some fish. Ooh, is that a bite or what? Yeah. Never. Sounds like that. That is not a bite, surely. Like Fucking rod nearly went in the river. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, it's looking rodding. Oh, it's, I've got a shark. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Been out ten minutes. Oh, it's a big one this, Andy. Yeah. You might have to go down for it. Oh, it's okay, okay. It's splashing. Can you wear it? Fucking huge. Oh, it's massive. Can you go out? Can you go out? I don't think I can. Yeah. Don't pull it. You might lose it from it. Don't fall in. Hey, I haven't got a wheel. It feels like you've got big fish though. Can you feel it chugging? Yeah. Where are we there? Right, it's just let's see first there. Oh yeah, it can. Get it off. Yeah. Fuck you know, it's in a big end. Look at the size of this guy's. <laughs> it might be a record. Bloody hell. Wow, it nearly slapped the bloody rod. Yeah, can. Bring it off. Yeah. Don't lose oh. it. It's a bath, it's a bath, so cod. Yeah, it's fucking cod. Wow, that doesn't oh, match that. No, it's a bath. Oh, I've just got a bath, people. Could be done. Fucking hell, should have won the match today, this. No one oh. the match that. So guys, look at that. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That was on the... Oh, that is massive, man. It's a nice and that, Kev. Get the hook out, Andy. That's that new part of Nostra I just tried. I just set that rig up tonight. Well, what yeah. a fish. <laughs> Guys, this has just smashed my bass record. It's at least... That, have you got them electronic scales? Oh, wow. You see the rod nearly snap, man. Get up that wall. Don't pick it up, Danny, because it'll fucking... It, it, it's sharp as fuck. This is... That's amazing, man. What a bass for the river. <laughs> Don't lose it, Cap, because they're fucking bastards, then. You, you got your camera on. Guys, I'm going to have Stroll picking this up because it's massive. Got, got them electronic scales. Look at that. Oh, that Guys, oh, look at the size of that macro. Wow. I'm going to have to wait. I've got my scales in the bag. <sighs> Just turn my light off on my head. I'm knackered. No, it's that sad. Push the button. Guys, you've got to see this. <laughs> Woo! Let's get out of my box. Right, yeah. I'm knackered guys. Watch this. Look at that. What a bass man. That's on the new pattern off there. Guys, that would have won the match today easily. Wow. Wow, oh. do you reckon that is? I don't know, Andy, you got your skills with you? What? You got some skills with you? I thought you had yours. I have, but they're in the car. So I'll get them then. Guys are going to wear this, lad. Uh, let's just get the light down. you got to see it. That is huge, that. It's absolutely massive. Yep. Yeah. That should have been yours, that. Yeah. I wish yeah. Shame Danny never got it. You never know. Let's get it down there, mate. Let's get yeah. my skills out. I think I've got a spare pair in here, hopefully. There we go, fellas. I've got a bag as well. Just set the tower on it. Hold on. On. Uh, on. Uh, yeah, right. Is it set for pounds? Yeah. That, right, guys. Let's get away of this bass. Got the old errands bag. 
That was first cast, fellas. This would have won the match today without a doubt. Right. Don't just hold that bag while I get this bass in, I don't want to hurt it. <laughs> there you go fellas. Six pounds six. Six pounds six. Well six well well six 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 seven. Yeah. Unbelievable. What a fish for the first cast. Give you one last look guys well, throw it back. Who is that? Yeah, one last look. Who is it that? Yeah. You know. Look at that, guys. What what a laugh. Laugh. Right, I've wrapped up. I'm totally green crackered. It's gone one o'clock. Time's been and gone. Uh, I lost my gear on my last pack casting, so I called it a day. It's actually 1.22 a.m. So we fished the town over an hour down. Basically, it's been a cracking session. I've had, uh, I think I've had five fish. Uh, so, and that stronger of a bass, wow. That is a fish of a lifetime one here. So I'm well chuffed with that. So until next time from me, Jimmy, uh, we're still on the cod hunt because I never got one. So next time I'm out, I'm still on the cod hunt. So I'll see you on the next one. It's a good night from me. It's a good night from Danny. It's a good night from Andy.